How old are you? Upcoming October is my birthday, so then I will be 25. How do you describe your childhood in India? I born in a very remote village in India, in a very, very small village. It's a small village and it is a far apart from city. Uh, in my childhood, there was no electricity also. My parents was not that much uh, rich to help me. You basically think about how to get their meal a day. So I started to struggle from my childhood. To be honest, my mom and dad, they never went to school at all. No. But they always motivate me, I should study. I, they always want I should yeah. be highly educated. So they are not educated at all because my mom never went to any school. My dad never went to any school. But they, they learn from their life. And their struggle in their life actually motivated me to determine what I want to do. So they don't motivate me to choose physics, but they motivate me how to lead life. Their thinking about life is really charming me to uh, whatever mm -hmm. I am today. Actually, I am very happy to do something for them because I love mathematics very well. Mm -hmm. And along with that, uh, uh, when I solve some problem, I really got motivated myself to because I take some unsolved problem, I try to do it by myself. And okay. when I do it, when I complete the problem, then that energy actually motivates me. But with time, I just realized that physics is the subject which I should pursue. I suppose mm -hmm. after completing my class 12, I took admission in a reputed college. Then the teachers and professor who was there, they were highly motivated me. So their motivation actually helped me to decide what should I do in my future. He actually always motivated me ki, yes, uh, physics is for you. You should study physics. I always feel happy when I do some problem. That actually motivated me to choose physics as my career. When I solve any problem, and I suppose mm -hmm. I take some unsolved problem and start to solve it. And when I complete this problem, so that happiness actually is still every day motivating. When I was in class 10, I start to learn, I start to study. And then after a certain point, I feel very somewhere. Like from nothing to something. Uh, I started from a very remote village. Then I, to my, for my Bachelor of Science, I came to city. Uh, then I did my master's from different state. Then now I'm yeah. in university. It was actually a dream to me also till today, whenever I think yeah. my journey from nothing to something, I, I had nothing. I start from the zero level. So each and every step, I, when I fight with myself, so that fight is always motivated me to determine for my own work. Right now, whenever I went to my village, all the villagers, they are so happy to see me because mm -hmm. I am the first one who came abroad from my village side. After completing my master in science in physics, so I did one year project from one reputed in, uh, university from India. Then I looking for some uh, PhD position abroad. So actually I decided after completing my master's, I have to do PhD from abroad. I got an opportunity in Poland, uh, university po their position. And my guide mm -hmm. uh, who is really a very interesting person with whom I'm working right now. And mm -hmm. to, we have to interview with him and mm -hmm. they elected me as a PhD student, uh, appellated in Poland uh, to work in collaboration with Sun. Basically the um, sign experiment. So our experiment, sign experiment is basically heavier and collision experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, in our universe, there are four fundamental forces. We are looking to uh, looking for the critical point in strong interaction. When there are some phase transition between Hadron gas to coagulant plasma, there are some phase changes and there are some critical point. So for the heavy ion community, they are a, uh, for a long time, we are looking for the critical point. Mm -hmm. And even there are many experiments also, they are looking, not only our experiment, there are many experiments like STAR and RIC, uh, all the experiments, they are also looking for critical point. So right now I am doing analysis on uh, NS61 data to search for the critical point of strong interaction. And it is, it is very interesting for our community. So we are looking okay. for, a, for a long time. I'm really enjoying my work. It's like every day there are new challenge because it is a new thing whatever we're doing right now. And mm -hmm. every day are new challenge. So whenever, we, as I said, the main motivation for me to do physics is to solve some problem. So whenever I do some analysis at the end of the day, when I complete my to-do list and I end my target at the day, so that 
so every day i motivate myself to doing something new doing some solve some challenging problem every day i make some list ki i have to complete this task today so at the end mm-hmm. of the day i try to complete it when it is done when it is done so that actually motivate me to do something new in the next day and that challenge i got from my analyzation work so i enjoy it a lot because whenever i solve some problem i am in the right track Do you miss Indian food or do you cook in there? Right now I'm cooking myself but uh, I yeah. miss you food which I actually love to eat from my mom with mom hands and so those mm. thing I miss I can say I'm a scientist but I'm start to learn and this is a time when I I should learn each and every day because when being a phd student it is a always a uh, demotivating like i am fighting here for food so if you not if i not love physics i have to always think about food 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 like that but if i if i love my work i will never think about food whatever i will get i should eat and i always try to motivate myself being a phd student ki i should learn at least something at the end of the day i am a learner now i i have dream from my childhood ki i should do something which i love to do and i always want to travel finally i am achieving my dream and i am waiting what should be in the path of my journey that's why my mom always told me ki uh, don't worry about what you are doing right now but you should worry about are you really happy with that or not she never expect i should be in a very good position i should be earn very good money but she always want i should be happy whatever i am doing so i think i am in the right track i actually love to teach so i want to be a professor to be professor that's the final destination i want to achieve wow really seriously i want to cry wow really touching that's really touching oh my god this is something new oh that's oh really she said that it's also my problem <laughs> i'm not like my kids say sh- you know things like that <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really, you know, having a goose bump in here. Oh, really? So, yeah! So, those things I need. Tikka Masala.